Hello everyone! So for today's artwork we're going to be looking at an artist called Frida Kahlo. Now the interesting thing about her is she had a really difficult life. She didn't have it easy, she had a lot of health problems and for a lot of her life she couldn't actually leave her bed so she spent a lot of time actually making art from her bed and you'll notice that her artwork she does a lot of painting of herself and lots of self portraits and they used to have a mirror set up above her bed so that she could look at herself to help her do her self portraits. So we're going to make a self portrait inspired by Frida Kahlo's art. So to start off with we are going to do the colourful frame for the artwork. A lot of her work was inspired by Mexican designs. She lived in Mexico for a lot of her life. So we're going to create a really interesting frame with flowers and birds and everything and bright colours around the outside of the page and in the centre is where we're going to do our self portrait. So the first part of this artwork is to do the frame. So to begin with we're going to make a shape in the centre that's where we're going to put our portrait. So we're going to leave a space in the middle. So we need to mark this out so we don't fill up the whole page with all of our beautiful border and have no room left to put our self-portrait. So just draw a line down the centre of your page. Like this. So that we can see where, the, find out sort of where the middle is. And across the middle here. Just to give us a bit of a guide. Then we're going to make a little tent shape. So we're going to just create this shape here. And that's just a little bit down from the top of the page. And about the same from the bottom, we're just going to do a small line across here. So this is where our face is going to go when we do put it in. Now between this edge here, so this distance width here should be about the same as this and this. So our frame is going to be here. So from this point down to here, we're going to do a wiggly line. And the same from here up to there. Hopefully you can see that. So that is where our portrait is going to be, is inside that shape. So once we've got that, we can start to add the other details on because we know we've left enough room for our portrait. So right down the bottom in the centre here, underneath our line, we're going to do one really big beautiful flower. So in the middle, we're going to do like a three, like do an M and then turn it into a little heart. Then we can do some fingers around the outside of this. And then we're going to put petals. Well, you can draw a flower however you like. We just want to create some beautiful flower shapes. So draw a big flower right at the bottom of the page here. Then we're going to do some one on either side of that. So draw yourself a little flower next to that. And another one over on this side here. There we go. Now on either side of the flowers we're going to do two birds, two parrots. So you're going to draw one parrot facing towards the other parrot coming from the other side. So we're going to start with the head. We're going to start with the end of his beak, curving up over his head like a little mountain. And then his, this is his back, going down here. Then we're going to do another little curve for his beak. So this is his head. We're going to go around and we're going to give him a little belly. Curve around under the belly and we're going to join that up with the tail on this side here with a little notch cut for some feathers. 
We're going to put some feathers under his, some tail feathers under here. Give him some tail feathers. And we will put an eye on. And then we're just going to add that wing. So we're going to do a curving shape around there. That creates the wing. And we want to give it some cool feathers on the top of its head. So like you're doing lots of M, M, M. And then some more shapes like that. That will give it a really cool headpiece. And you can do the same on the other side. And then we've got our two birds looking at each other over the garden. And we're going to work our way up the side here with some more flowers. So we want to do three flowers going up here, three different style flowers. So a good idea when you're doing a flower is to start off with a circle for the centre and then think about the shape petals that you might want. So you can do a petal shape like this one here that we did, which looks like a heart with three lumps along the top, so like an M and then it's got the V underneath. So we can do that same shape that we've done here as a petal shape. So we're going to do a V. And then we're going to do an M on the top. M. With three lobes. So it's a V. And then one, two, three lumps. V. One, two, three lumps. So whatever you do on this side, you're going to do the same on this side. those flowers and we're going to do another flower here so starting off with a circle in the middle and we're going to do a little flower shape around here like a cloud with the this shape and then we can do similar petals to what we did here just a bit bigger you can put more lumps on them if you like Give it a bit more of variety. You can do whatever flowers that you like, but we want to make them look different. So try not to draw the same flower over and over again up the side. Try and give it something different. So think about different petal shapes you could do or different center shapes that you could create just to give it some variety. And then we're going to do a different flower again up here. So for this one, I'm going to do like a cloud. And I'm going to just do the center of the flower. The stamens poking out of the middle. Now some of you have done beautiful flower artworks in the past. You've learned how to make sunflowers. You've learned how to make poppies, corn flowers. This is when you can use your experience in drawing flowers and different kinds of flowers and apply that to this design. Or you can just copy what I'm doing, it's up to you. So we've got our flowers all the way up the sides here. Now in Frida's she has these little, well, they almost look like little buildings. So we're going to draw an oblong here above your last flower we're going to join the corners up. So we're going to do a cross across the middle. Then we're going to do a triangle on top and a little half a circle in here. And then this is going to be like a cloud or a cone, like a soft serve ice cream might look. So it comes up to a point and down to the other side. So create some sort of interesting building shape or ice cream cone shape in the corner there. So it's not a flower, it's more like a decoration you would see on a building or an architrave of a building. So 
So we're going to do the same on this side. So a little bit more architectural. So we've got the square. Yeah. It's looking good. Now we drew this lovely little tent line in here. So we're going to just draw that in nice and dark. And along here, we're going to do like a little bridge, a little decorative bridge. So we're going to just make this a little bit thicker. And then along the top of this line, we're going to do half circles or scallops all the way along from one end to the other. Very nice. Then we're going to add another little bridge over the top and then we're going to add another pattern over this so this is you can do something like your flower petals that you did I'm doing my three fingered flower petal along the top here and then we've got a little bit more room up here so you can just pop another little flower in and there we have our frame design so once you have filled in your frame with all your flowers and patterns, then it's time to get out your paints or your pastels or your crayons or your coloured pencils, felts, whatever you're working with. And you can just add those bright colours in here. So the colours that she uses are really, really bright colours, really happy colours. So lots of pinks and cobalt blues, yellows, oranges, reds, really bright, gorgeous colours. So just go ahead and you can start filling in all of this around here, leaving that centre part blank because that's where we're going to do our self portrait. So once you've put in all the colours on the things that you've drawn, we're just going to add a little bit of colour into the background here. Just some splodges so it's not all plain white. So I'm going to go with this yellow, which is nice and bright. And we're just going to add just some random bits of colour so it's not completely white in the background. So this can be quite blobby, quite messy. Just fill in a few of these little white gaps that we don't have anything in. And there we go. That is the frame. So there is the finished frame. Beautiful and bright and colourful with our blank centre ready to add the self-portrait. So let this dry and then we're going to work on the self-portrait in the middle here. So there's two ways of doing that. We can cut this out and then we can use this as a frame or you can just paint and draw it directly into here. So it's up to you which way you want to do it. Um, depends whether you want to use scissors or not. Alright, so that's the end of part one and I'll see you in part two for the portrait part. See you next time. Bye!